Also Leute, hier ist Teufel von Tanzwut. Tanzwut. Okay. Hallo. Ich bin Jackie Boy oder Jack. Und das ist das neue Album von Tanzwut. Silberner Hochzeit. Und tut mir leid, aber mein Deutsch ist scheiße. So. Yeah, that's probably all the German that you're going to get out of me for this video. <laughs> okay, let's try that again in English. Hello. I am Jackie Boy, or just Jack, and this is Silvana Hochzeit, the new album from the medieval or medieval inspired rock band from Berlin, Germany, Tanzwutz. It was released on 24th of February of this year. It's the 11th studio album by the band, and it was released in celebration of the band's 25 year anniversary. The album, fittingly enough, is called Silvana Hochzeit, or Silver Wedding. I had no idea for the longest time why it was called that, until I found out that Silver Wedding is actually a term for 25 year wedding anniversary so <laughs> makes sense now <laughs> but um when i said it was a new album i say that because it's not an album of new material but is actually an album of re-recorded songs from the band's second third and fourth albums don't know why they omitted the first one. I, I have no idea why. I heard saw someone on Facebook once or before ask why there were no songs from the first album on this one. And the only thing I saw was I think I assume it was Teufel, of course, responded <laughs> basically saying, oh, he didn't think those old songs were so cool anymore. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? It's like, yeah, I, I get it. They're, they're his songs, but I strongly disagree. <laughs> that first album is very much on par with like the second, third, and fourth albums. But I don't know if it really is just that's what he thinks or if there's more to it than that. I don't know. But anyway, I decided to make this video because I had some thoughts and opinions, opinions and thoughts, thoughts about my opinions and feelings on my feelings but originally i was just gonna you know just type it type out my thoughts throw it in my instagram story and call it a day and after um typing out everything and realizing i had about several paragraphs worth of shit <laughs> i realized that probably wasn't gonna work and fit all in a um a little story that was gonna disappear and 24 hours plus i decided that i wanted to buy the fan box version of the new album so i know that i would have wanted to show off all the stuff in the box which i probably would have done in my instagram story as well but i decided you know and i have a lot i have a lot to a lot i guess to say about the album and it's you could show off some of the stuff in the box so i thought why don't I just make like a whole video about it? I mean, psh, shit, it's an opportunity to talk about one of my favorite bands. Anyone who's, you know, been following me for the past few months have noticed that I've been completely in love and obsessed with Tanzwut. Everything Tanzwut, anything that, you know, Teufel has been a part of that includes Chorus Korax. And for those who don't know, Corvus Corax is a medieval, neo-medieval band from Germany, and they started out in the late 80s. Teufel has joined the band somewhere in the mid-90s, I want to say. And in 1997, um, a bunch of the members of Corvus Corax decided to make a side project, which became Tanzwut. And they incorporated 
metal, industrial, electronic elements, guitars, keyboards, all that jazz, to their medieval instruments that they used with Corvus Corax. And honestly, when I first discovered them, it was the one of the coolest things I've ever heard. Like, I mean, I knew that medieval rock bands existed. I knew it was a genre. It was never a genre I really listened to, though, as much as I've always, you know, been intrigued by medieval instrumentation and all that. But it was never a genre of bagpipes, doodles, acts, any, any medieval instruments. I never really sought it out to listen to. But I will say, as I love all of Tanzfoot's discography for many different reasons. They've had, you know, different different kinds of albums um, throughout their career, but they've always stayed true to that medieval inspired rock sound. But I feel like there, there was something really, really unique about the first four Tanzfoot albums. I kind of categorize that in like a its whole era of the band's career. <laughs> Because there, um, there was a very noticeable difference musically between their fourth album, Schattenleiter, and their fifth album, Weisse Nichte. Because in between those two albums, all of the original members of Tanzwut, except for Teufel, left the band to either, I guess, continue with their own thing, or go back to Corvus Korax full-time. Because while Tanzwut was a band at the time, a lot of the members that were originally in Chorus Corax were doing both bands. So I'm sure for a lot of them, it was just a lot. And I know for some of them, they just wanted to focus on Chorus Corax primarily, which is fine. But I did notice a very, very distinct sound difference. Mainly, any album after Schattenleiter, for the most part. The, the electronic sound of the keyboards were just not as prominent. And the sound overall became a little bit less industrial and became later on a little bit more just like rock metal kind of thing. They still use keyboards, you know, today, but the sound is different. Yeah, those, the early Tansu days, it was so unique, like I'd never heard anything like Never in a million years would I have ever thought combining medieval instruments with keyboards like that in a rock band would have worked as well as they made it work. Seriously, like songs like Dämmerung, Labyrinth, Komm her, Im Rausch, Schattenleiter their version of Takata. Some of the coolest, you know, honestly, some of Tanswood has made some of the coolest pieces of music I've ever heard. Like, I know. Even though Teufel has been, Teufel is the singer, by the way. Teufel has been the sole original member of the band. You know, he decided to stay with it. Teufel, by the way, is the German word for devil, which if you see a photo of him, you'll understand why that's his name. <laughs> You know, I find it really interesting that he got that nickname even before he had his little devil horns, which I think is really cool. That he decided to commit to the persona, which I think is awesome. I love that about him. I love him. But yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to ramble too much because I, I could talk about this band all day. That could be a whole, whole ass other video. Now I'm mainly trying to talk about the new album and of course show off the stuff that came in the fan box which I got a few days ago finally after waiting two weeks or maybe it was three weeks I don't know for it to ship in Germany it has finally arrived so I have many thoughts about this new album but we're going to talk about that later first I'm going to open up the box the box box and talk about what's inside so originally i wasn't gonna open the actual box itself until i started recording the video but 
I got impatient and I wanted to listen to the CD since there was like a two, three day gap in between when the package came and when I was able to record this video. I just ripped it open, didn't, didn't look in the box, just did a quick peek, took the CD out, closed it, even though I know what's in the box already, but wanted to act surprised. So shout out to the person, whoever packed this box. Because they gave me a cute little bag of gummy bears. <laughs> so I thought it was cute. Oh, and it's in German. That's good. Well, I mean, why, why wouldn't it be in German? But I didn't notice that before. That's awesome. That's even better. Also, I appreciate the packaging as simple as it is. Black packing peanuts and the box is wrapped up in black tissue paper. Love that. So as soon as I open it, it comes with a little new photo card. New images of the band. Another little signed photo card of Toifu. Although I already have this exact one, as you can see over here. Don't really have use for two. So if there are any Tonswood fans out there that want a free signed photo of Teufel, hit me up, I will send it to you. And of course, they couldn't help but taunt me with this tour flyer for their upcoming tour, which is only in Germany, and obviously, I can't go to these. Trust me, I already priced plane tickets to Germany. <laughs> I can't afford it. <laughs> Alright. I also love that there's a little Zilbena Hochzeit sticker that you can't see from here. And... <gasps> it's... Silver! Well, no shit. Which I was... Surprise, but also not really to see, because looking at the photos online, for some reason it looked like the box was white. My eyes thought white, so I kind of assumed it was white. So I'm happy to see it's silver, obviously to keep in theme with the album title. And I really like the red on it. Red is probably the, the, the primary color of Tansvut. And I really like how it looks with silver. I feel like I need to wear more red and silver things and just use these two colors together more often. I just really like how it looks. So, I already forgot how to open it. <sighs> There's stuff inside. Imagine that. So first thing is these two cute little Friendship bracelets is what they were called on the website. They have Tansvut on them as well as Zilbena Hawkside, and I'm really bad at showing this off. It's fine. Are they adjustable? Oh, oh yes, they're adjustable. It's a pretty nifty. I probably won't wear these, I say, as I'm putting this on my wrist right now just because these types of printed fabric bracelets aren't really my personal style but i will keep these in the box and if i ever come across someone who is also a huge tonsput fan who might be interested in these i might give them to them next is a mouse pad because why not <laughs> Sometimes I need a mouse pad, sometimes I don't. Maybe I'll use this, maybe I won't. Yeah. Even if I don't use it as a mouse pad, I can still display this somewhere. Perfect. Per it's working. It's, it's working, I swear. These, I was super excited for these. Just get them out. I 
Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There we go. Bunch of signed photograph cards. All members of the band. Schumann, Rabenhund, Alexius, Bruder Schlaf, Piro, or Pyro, Der Zwilling, and Teufel. God, he's so hot. <laughs> uh, anyone who is even remotely half-assed been paying attention to me on social media these past several months probably noticed I have a giant crush on Teufel. I just think he's really neat. Mwah. Next we have a flag. Ooh. Oh. Let's see if I can show this off on the camera. Crog. Backwards. Ooh. Nice. I like this. I have no idea where the hell I'm going to put it. <laughs> But, I'll figure it out. All right, so this probably, this is the, probably the thing that I was most excited about <laughs> within this box and probably the main reason why I decided to get the fan box. The hell is this? Well, this, is poking me in the fucking head. This is... Really cool. This is a replica, full little replica of the silver devil mask that Teufel holds on the cover of the album. And it's a pen. It's a little pen, so you can pin it on and wear it. I fucking love this. Little silver devil mask has Teufel's signature red face stripe on it. Really, really fucking cool. I really dig this. I'm probably gonna wear this to like every Ren Fair medieval event that I possibly can. Just incorporate it into my outfit. In fact, for now, I'm going to put it right here. And of course, last but not least, the album itself. I really like the artwork on this. When I first saw this photo of Teufel posted on social media, when they first announced this album was coming out, I loved it. It's like beautiful. And I love the artwork, um, especially the cathedral church window designs and the architecture that you can see all over the album. Open it up. Have the band photo, which I believe is about the same photo that's on the flag. Open it up again. There's the CD and another photo of Teufel, which is the same image that is on the photo card. Then there's just the booklet. It's got another photo of Teufel. Of course, it has the lyrics. Different photos of the rest of the band as well. I hate the shine of the light on this. It, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Songs Labyrinth, Ihr wolltet Spaß, Mir, Was soll der Teufel im Paradies, 
der Wächter, niemals ohne dich, Lügner, der, er A A der Arzt, im tiefen Gras, Vulkan, Dämmerung, and nine, nine. Alright, let's talk about the album. Okay, so, want to hear my thoughts about the album? If you've actually made it this far in the video, then maybe you might have some interest. So, when Tanzwut first announced this album, I was super excited. I'm like, oh boy, new material. And it was um, the first music announcement from the band since I became a fan a few months ago. And then I saw that it was you know, for their 25 year anniversary. I'm like, oh shit. This is awesome. It's their 25 year anniversary. That's an awesome number. Um, and then I saw that it was going to be a bunch of re-recordings of some of their older songs. And I was like, I won't lie, I had some mixed feelings. Because I've personally never really been a huge fan of when an artist re-records their stuff. I don't, I don't hate it. It's just like, I, I don't know. I don't... Maybe I feel like I don't need more than one version of a song that I like because then I think, oh man, what version do I listen to? <laughs> it's too much for me. I don't know. Or maybe the exceptions could be if a song is in need of a redo. If there's really something that could be added to the song or the song could be fixed up in a way. But the thing with the songs on this album, they're all, in their original versions, already perfect. <laughs> they're already amazing songs musically. So I thought, how are they going to do this? These are all songs from that earlier era of Tanzwut that sounded a little different than their current sound. And that sound itself was already so unique in these songs already sounded like so many of these songs already sounded crazy you know unique I thought I knew if they were going to record these songs with the sound that they they currently have then you know I know that the songs would sound good but would they retain that special feeling that I feel like they just I don't know, they just go, I don't know, would they, would it be the same? Would it be worse? Would it be different? I don't know. See, with this album, I didn't think I would hate it, the album, because all the original songs I already love and listen to all the time. So by default, I know that to some extent, I would like the album, of course. That's not to discredit the current Tanzwood sound. Obviously, I love it. It's not the same as it was 20 to 25 years ago, and that's fine. There are different people in the band now. Times change. You want to do something different. You want to build upon your sound. You want to change it a little bit. All bands do that. Most bands do that. <laughs> I, I listened to this album already. The day it came out, I listened to it in its entirety. I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I actually liked this album a little more than I thought I would. <laughs> Though nothing beats the original songs for me, of course. These re-recordings of these songs are actually really well done. I had no doubt that they would, you know, be well done. If it was going to be anything like the sound of the band for the last, you know, album or two, I knew it was gonna sound great, like Detanz with Kets the Wook, which is their previous album, and in my opinion, one of their best albums. That's a really strong album. Any song on that album could be a single. There were some songs that I was kind of nervous about when I saw the track list for the album. For example, Dämmerung is one of my favorite Tanzfut songs, and probably just one of my favorite songs, period. Because the intro of that song, the Sham instruments mixed with i think there's a keyboard in there and maybe some guitars i don't know it is such an interesting sound it's so cool and i thought how 
if they're gonna re-record this song, one, I hope they don't change the sound of that part drastically, but yet two, how are they gonna do this song where it's gonna be like impressive enough to rival or be on the same level as the original? I kind of felt that with a lot of the songs, but no, it's good actually. <laughs> I was I was really happy to see that that sound, that, that part in that song did not sound very different and it still sounded really cool. If anything, it actually sounded a little more, um, a little more full. And that's the thing with, um, the overall sound of this album. It very much represents Tansu's current sound and it applies that to these older songs really well compared to the sound of these older songs. The sound is more full, it's it's a higher production, so the sound quality is a little higher. The guitars in some of the songs, compared to the originals, were like almost punchier and just more like, <clears throat> especially in 9-9. Nine Nine. Like the original song is kind of, is, is a kick-ass song, but man, blasting this version of 9-9 Nine Nine, from my car with my windows rolled down is like totally kicks ass. I noticed some um, parts here and there, melody and note wise, that's just a little bit different from the originals. For example, the verses in Der Vista, there's just a few little note changes, but even just something as simple as that actually really added to this version of the song and made it just a little bit more interesting. And sometimes that's all you need. Surprise the listener, just like, oh, well, that's different. I like that. I'm hearing more prominent backing vocals, I feel like, in the new versions. Um, they're louder, they're very haunting, very beautiful. I feel fills the songs out a lot more. Some of the keyboard parts I was nervous about because in songs like Labyrinth and Nima Zona Dish, the keyboard parts were very electronic. They're great examples of that early era Tanzwood sound that I was talking about that had those really just awesome keyboard parts. And I was a little bit nervous. Um, I knew they were not going to sound like they did back then. So I thought, what, what is it going to sound like? I actually was surprised at how much I did like the sound of it, even though it was a lot different. I feel like it, it was a case of it's different and, you know, maybe it's just different enough to make me be interested in this version of the song because it's not an exact copy. And it makes these new versions just a little bit more different enough from the originals um, in a good way. And also mentioning Teufel's vocals, I noticed that he seemed to have a little more fun vocally in some of the songs. I especially noticed it with Ihr wollt Spaß and Lugna. He kind of um, gave a little bit more of a vocal like, performance in a lot of the, the verses of the new versions that was not there in the original versions. Teufel can do a great sarcastic minstrel voice, like a flamboyant gremlin weaving you a tail. And I love that. Like, I love it when his like minstrel voice comes out. And it, the best example I think of that voice coming out is in the song Ihr Wortet Spaß. I did notice he did kind of do a little bit more like vocal inflections, like, uh, um, in the new version that in some parts that I don't hear in the original, which is cool. I love that. And he also did the same thing in Lugna. I feel like he had more fun with like his vocal inflections. Like, super like playful, but sarcastic, mildly creepy. But I have to give a special shout out to what I think is the shining gem on this album, at least for me, M. Tiefenglass. Now, M. Tiefenglass is, for Tanzwood, already a really kind of weird 
song musically. And Tiefen Glass is off of the Schattenleiter album, their fourth album. And for me personally, it's my favorite Danzbot album. It's definitely their most unique musically because they still have that, you know, medieval industrial kind of sound going on. But they did a lot more with some gothic elements. There's a lot of spooky sounding songs on that album. And I kind of like to call that album Tanzbut's Goth Phase. It's an amazing album. Like, seriously, it's so amazing. All of Tanzbut's albums are great, but this one is special. Probably the weirdest or most surprising song on that album is Im Tiefenglas. Um, in the deep grass or in the tall grass. It sounds like a rockabilly song, which is not expected. When you first hear that riff, it's a very rockabilly sounding riff, and it's it, this is you. It's like this is this is Tanzwoods. It's so cool. It's such a great song, but this version of Im Tiefen Glass is amazing. It actually, I think. I might even love this version a little bit more than the original. I feel like I'd be more likely to blast this version from my car on a hot summer's night, roll the windows down, cruise. The sound of the this new version of this song kind of invokes more of the song's subject matter or overall feeling a little bit more than the original one does. At least it does for me. The overall sound, you know, like the rest of this album is, is a little more full. It's a little more dreamier, fun, nostalgic, sexy. The guitar riff in the intro of this new version is lower toned than the original. I, n I noticed the sham part in the chorus, which by the way, a sham is uh, like a medieval woodwind instrument. It's just this long it's this long thing in the original version the sham part comes in in the second half of the chorus but in this version it starts off as soon as the chorus hits and it lasts throughout the whole chorus and i like that now when i hear that with that part of the the chorus it kind of just gives me like a, a fun feeling to it and when it's played in the entire chorus in this new version they kind of puts me immediately in that like ah feeling when I hear it as opposed to the original I get it as soon as um you know when the chorus is halfway over so I actually like how the Sean part is played in the entire chorus and also there's just something about Teufel's vocals in this new version that just I don't know just really just really do it for me a little bit more you know Especially when he says, Weiss wie ich haut nacht heiß an deinem Mundelag. So, yeah, I like this album. I like this album, you know, a lot more than I would. Um, obviously, you know, listen to this album, it's great. But also, listen to the original versions. L listen to Tanz Wood's entire discography. Do it. But yeah, this has been another one of my Tanzfut rants that no one really asked for, but you're getting it anyway because by now this band has me by the balls. Teufel could probably record and release an album of him screaming into a Dulzak and reciting his shopping list for 45 minutes. And I would probably buy 20 copies. No shame. No shame. Also, fun little treasure hunt for you. Can you find all of the Tanthwut, Corvus Corax, or related items in this frame? I'll give you a hint. There's eight of them, I think. Comment below. Or don't. I don't care. Or maybe I do, you'll never know. So yeah, 
thank you to anyone who watched this entire video and maybe enjoyed it in some way. I appreciate you, and even if I just made this video and like five people watch it, that's fine because I had a grand old time talking about one of my favorite bands. Any opportunity that I can get to talk about a musician that I like, promote them in any way, maybe turn more people on to them. So, thank you, danke schön, und bis bald. Box, box, box and box, the box, 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 box and box, box. The box. There is no box of that's gonna taste that good. Look at the steam coming off.